in October of 2021, one year ago exactly to the date, I met COVID-19 face to face for the first time. And I was shocked because of a very sad and dire situation of Russian healthcare system. It was simply overwhelmed with the number of patients and it was falling apart. Now, let's find out what's happened one year later. Let's jump right into it. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Konstantin and welcome to Inside Russia. We're living in today's Russia explained by the insider you can trust. And if you're a returning viewer, then thank you so much. You're awesome and you rock. Please keep on coming back for more. Today is sort of a update on the current state of CV-19 pandemic here in Russia as of October 2021. And my personal view on how the Russian healthcare has adopted, evolved, so to speak. Last October, in late 2020, I met COVID face to face for the very first time was not pretty. I was helping my brother-in-law to get into the hospital who was with 75% of lung damage and he was basically near death. I was checking him in into a CV-19 hospital into the red zone myself. I saw people collapsing right in front of me. I saw huge lines. I saw the ambulance, you know, getting to the patients in 10 days. Yes. 10 days you, you heard me right i actually made a video about that it's called something like catastrophe cv19 catastrophe in russia check it out right here now it's been 12 months since that horrendous experience and whew, let me tell you i have seen covid up close a few times myself and i've dealt with it i've seen people having uh, their arms amputated because of that i've seen people die because of that i've seen people get sick and get better i got sick myself twice believe it or not first time it was back in november of 2020 fairly light case and then again in march 2021 that time was much more difficult all members of my extended family have had covid Tons of my colleagues, tons of my friends. Uh, I've seen that, I've been there, and I've done that. Here in Russia, we've had four waves so far. The first one was way back in March of 2020. The second at the end of 2020, the third in March and April of 2021, and the fourth one we're having right now. Everything was fine in the summertime. And I thought, I started thinking that wow finally we actually won over COVID battle we didn't wear masks here in russia no one was getting sick uh well people were getting sick less and less the hospitals were half empty and i've seen that with my own eyes i have tons of doctor friends who are telling me and then I've, i actually have seen inside of a couple hospitals then september 1st of 2021 happened and it almost seems like someone dropped a CV-19 bomb over Russia because the cases started skyrocketing. I've been thinking about that. Most likely it's because the kids are back to schools and there's been a lot of interaction. People are back to the offices from the summer vacations and from being quarantined and isolated for such a long time. Some of us were in isolation and remote work mode for 18 months okay and everyone was back to the offices on september 1st all of a sudden everyone i know is sick okay <sighs> it's pretty bad i don't think it's because people are not wearing masks or you know not getting vaccinated or vac russian vaccines don't work no i'm just i'm thinking of this nothing helps against covid just like nothing helps against the flu the only thing that can help is you stay inside and you don't actually get exposed to flu. COVID is also flu, so it acts kind of the same way. And there's not much you can do about it. I also got sick, so what it turned out to be a simple, well, pretty bad case of pharyngitis. COVID tests came back negative. For some time, I thought that three is a charm, you know. <sighs> turned out it's two for me so far. I went to a local clinic, I saw a huge number of people sick and 
probably most of them with COVID, sneezing and coughing and with fever. Russian doctors are on the edge. The hospitals still have beds, but they're getting filled. My mom is sick. She's in the hospital. She's getting treated. She's in bad condition, but <coughs> on oxygen with 64% of her lungs damaged. And my uncle is at home. He refuses to go to the hospital and he's in pretty bad shape. He's critical, actually. You know, I'm, I'm here taking care of him. <sighs> Sad. People around die. My One of my best friend's dad just passed away from uh, blood cloth. Then a member of our family passed away, a uh, heart attack. It's just sad, you know, very, very sad. In the short summary, what is going on in Russia right now is very, very bad. COVID has just exploded. Again, the fourth wave. And now to the question, has Russian medical system adopted to the new conditions? From my last videos, you can see that I'm not a huge fan of Vladimir Putin. I actually don't like the guy very much. But if I were to meet him face to face right now, I would have some pretty tough questions about certain things in Russia. State of freedom, state of local economy and so forth. But to be fair, I would thank him for what he has done to the Russian medical system. Because over one year, it's adopted to face new challenges that COVID-19 presents. Guys, this is pretty unbelievable. I mean, I know from the first hands. I was down with COVID twice. My mom is down with COVID. Uncle. My aunt was down with COVID. One aunt is still in the hospital right now, <coughs> along with her husband. I mean, there are so many people, my friends. And you know what? They all get adequate medical help, free of charge. There are enough beds in the hospitals. B Rewind one year ago, terrible. They were lines to get to the hospitals. I told you the stories in the live streams about what has happened to some people I know. Now, if you are in bad shape and you need to be hospitalized, they just take you to the hospital in an ambulance. It's a matter of a few hours. Back then, ambulances were backed up for days. Now, in Moscow, it takes up to an hour for an ambulance to come. In all other Russia, in the provinces, it takes five to six hours, which is not bad whatsoever. Once the doctors come, they give adequate medical help, okay? They either give you drugs, medicine, or they take you to the hospital. Local physicians actually make home visits to the ones who need. My uncle has had a local doctor visiting him three times. The doctor drew his blood for complete blood analysis. He gave him medicine, he gave him shots. I mean, if I were to ask of any better medical help, I couldn't think of anything. Things are well, and I would actually thank Putin for that. <sighs> I never thought I would say that in front of a camera, but um, he's turned the Russian medical system around. I don't know how much money they spent, okay? Probably trillions of rubles, hundreds of billions of dollars, okay? but. Whatever they did, it actually has worked. So I'm very, very thankful to Russian government for that, for my family members, for treating myself, me, you know, when I was sick, when needed help, and for, for, for the Russians. It, <coughs> it doesn't matter. You used to be able to get the help only in Moscow a year ago. Now, anywhere you go, even in remote villages, they actually come to you in an ambulance, take you to the hospital, okay? There's plenty of drugs. There are plenty of drugs in the hospitals. There are plenty of drugs at pharmacies you can buy. Like in that video, <coughs> again, in this video, the catastrophe in Russia ma made 12 months ago, I described how uh, I was miserable just going from pharmacy to pharmacy f and failed to find very, very cheap, very basic blood thinner because there weren't any. Now there's plenty of everything. Just to add a few words, I would like to say thank you very much to all the doctors in Russia who work their butts off, who go for the home visits, who stay extra shifts in the hospitals, you know, who actually treat people and help them recover. Guys, thank you so much. So this is the CV pandemic spread update in Russia. 
as of early October 2021. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.